everyone. My name is JJ and today we are going to make some ooey gooey messy oobleck. Oobleck is a kid's face favorite and it is really easy to make. To make oobleck, you're going to want a container to hold it in. I would recommend a tray just to help with some spills as well as some paper towels or like you see here a towel that I'm using for my surface and some water and measuring cup. We're going to start with two cups of cornstarch. And next, we are going to add water. You'll want to take your spoon and mix it all together. And it's already starting to get nice and gooey. The consistency that you're looking for as you stir it, you want to make sure that your cornstarch is dissolved into your water, but that your mixture is thick, but still liquidy. The reason why oobleck is so interesting is because it's a great study of the different states of matter. When you think of the three states of matter, they're typically solid, liquid, and gas. Now a solid is going to have a rigid structure and shape and hold that shape and structure throughout. A liquid is going to take the shape of whatever container it's in, and a gas change both its volume and shape in the container that it fills. Now the reason why oobleck is so interesting is because it behaves both like a solid and a liquid at the same time. Now, we are pretty much perfect, and I'm gonna take a big scoop of this and what you can see is that it's nice and runny, but if I hit the oobleck, you can see that it's really firm. And that's exactly the texture that you want. Just for some fun, some toys and some objects that will help us further demonstrate those two different states of matter. If I take this ball, I can bounce it. And did you see that bounce? But I can also let it sink. Let's check that out again, but this time I'm going to use uh, my finger puppet that happens to be the shape of a foot. I can walk on top of it or I can let it sink. Whoa. I hope that you enjoyed learning a little bit about our favorite non-Newtonian fluid as well as some of the states of matter while we got to enjoy a really cool sensory activity. My name is JJ, until next time.